Uh, what's up guys this is going to be a quick review of the yeni nano settings um so far i've been looking around youtube and i just couldn't find anything online or anywhere else or just basically i just couldn't find an updated version of a uh, yeti nano settings and so far i'm just going to just tell you what uh my perf what my personal settings are and i'm just going to get straight to it so so far uh this this is just my regular voice. Uh, I didn't have this uh, blue voice enabled yet. So this is how my voice sounds like right now uh, using the regular mic. But if I were to enable this, it probably would sound a little bit different. Uh, so this is my personal uh, settings that I, I use most of the time. So I use 72 uh, on the input gain and out, a, ma a master output level would be 90. And the reason why I have it at 90 is because it's to help reduce the background noises. Uh, normally, a lot of people would have this at 100, but for me, I have a really hollow room. So that just helps a little bit. Uh, for the signal cleanup, I don't really mess with any of the settings, except I might have tweaked it a little bit just to copy uh, a YouTuber. Um, but so far, this one's 5, negative 33, and negative 20. But, um, so this is just basically Broadcaster 1. Um, as you can tell, I have a, a new preset copy, and it was because of this Broadcaster. So if anything, if anything, this is just how it is. It's just, well, uh, this is just a basic setting of Broadcaster 1. Uh, but... My personal settings would be this only because I sit kind of far away from my mic. And um, if you are a person who sits pretty close to their mic or have their have your mouth close to the mic, uh, I would honestly have it at 48. So uh, as of right now, I'm going to change it to 48. It would probably sound a lot better and reduce the background noises. So as of right now, I'm using... Well, I'm actually talking into the mic a lot closer, and this is what it sounds like. Um, earlier, I was actually talking closer too, but it was probably louder. So I'm just change that back. Um, that's pretty much what my personal opinion is. Uh, I keep it like this only to reduce background noises, like as much as I can, but also have a clear voice because I kind of sit far away. So sometimes you would hear a little bit of my key my keyboard is really loud. So like you'd hear my keyboard here and there, but it's not too loud to the point it's annoying. But I did have some gameplays where I, I played Call of Duty and it was really annoying at one point because I had this maybe at like 90 and it was just extremely loud and annoying. Um But like uh there there are other uh settings where I actually try to go between forty-eight and 72 and i try to go in between like maybe go to like 60 61 64 and you know when i play games like call of duty and uh like sometimes i'm talking mid mid conversation or I'm talking crap to someone and it just like sometimes it cuts off when i'm at six or that's only when i'm around 60 um in the 60s area so like if i'm talking crap and it cuts off and i always get made fun of because they're all like oh you got a, a dollar tree mic and go get a better mic and this and that but um yeah so like i try to keep it in the middle but it just tends to cut off more so like around the 60s area like i couldn't find the perfect spot for it so i was like okay whatever i'll just do a 72 uh so this just my personal settings um you can also do 48 if you're a person who sits really close to their mic and just wants to have a really good voice um you can also have this all the way up to like 100 and or try to reduce this so if i were to reduce this right now you probably my voice would probably sound a little lower so it should sound a little bit lower now um if i were to go all the way you probably wouldn't be able to hear me like Normally, I just keep it at 90, so that's just my personal opinion. Uh, but for the effects, you can also change your voice. Uh, you can have like an alien voice. Uh, this is what I sound like right now. Uh, you can also have a funeral voice, but it sounds a little iffy. It doesn't even sound like a funeral voice. I don't even know how to make it sound like a funeral voice. Uh, you can have a demon voice. Um, 
Yeah, you can honestly just go and mess around with the settings on here. But normally uh, when I use these settings, I don't touch none of these other settings except for this. So in my, what I would recommend, would I recommend this mic? Yes, highly recommend this mic, but only if you're doing something small as, okay, you want to become a first starter YouTuber, first starter streamer, like this mic was pretty perfect it's pretty decent especially for the price um honestly if do i recommend anything else like that's in the same with uh the yeni nano brand or the yeti brand yes i would recommend something like maybe a higher or a little bit pricier um mic which is like the yeti blue or the yeti blackout i would honestly recommend those ones because they have a little bit more than the yeti nano um what the yeti nano doesn't have is like the the little the one little button that the uh, mic has on the um mic sorry <laughs> i couldn't even explain that very well but yes there, there's a little volume button on the yeti nano and there's only one of them and that's normally to hear yourself so i'm gonna i'm gonna twist the the little volume and this is what you see here, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't make, it doesn't turn up your volume. It doesn't do anything. This only, it only turns up on what you hear from your headset. So if you connect your, um, your wire to the bottom or like, it's, I guess your aux to the bottom to your headset. So it's just basically to connect it to your headset in order to hear your own voice. So, and this is just like the volume of like, what you hear from your headset um but it doesn't do anything now so like if i were to decrease this like if i was listening to music on youtube i it doesn't do anything like it doesn't decrease or anything which is kind of kind of bum uh, even if i were to like if i was in game and decreased it all the way you still hear me it's still the same like nothing changes it's just this is just to hear your voice and kind of tweak with the settings as you go so if you were to like uh kind of uh, connect your headphones into your Yeti mic and try to mess with this. You can hear your own voice and how it sounds. I mean, you could also use like a mic test. Uh, honestly, if I do a mic test right here, I can honestly hear, like, I can't hear my voice now. But I honestly forgot that. Um, that didn't sound right. <laughs> uh, it sounded like a demon for a second. Uh, like I thought I had it off, but um, apparently it, it just didn't sound right. So don't try it while recording. So yeah, that's pr pretty much my personal opinion. Um, what I would recommend is uh, for certain people, if you're on a budget, uh, I would honestly go for this Yeti Nano. I mean, it does. I mean, especially when Black Friday just passed, you know, like it just, it's probably cheaper, probably not. Uh, the Cyber Monday is coming up, so uh, I just want to say like uh, this this is pretty good mic for what it is. I mean, it could have been eighty dollars. It could have decreased it, uh, but the original price was probably a hundred dollars. But if you can spend the extra thirty dollars to forty dollars, I honestly would go for the the more expensive uh, mics like the Yeti Blue or the Yeti Blackout or the two hundred dollar mic. I forgot what it was called, but yeti something <laughs> so would i recommend the the little bit more pricier ones yes highly because they have what the yeti nano doesn't have so um they also have this um the vol another they have two volume buttons on the other ones which is one is uh volume for your voice and like the gain so you can also you can change it on your mic instead of having to go to the software. Um, that way it can reduce the background noises and it's just so much better. But for the Yeti Nano, I had to go like I really had a, a hassle of trying to search everywhere to try to find the best settings. But these are just my personal settings and you can copy it or not. I don't really care. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, there's not much really to say about these settings. So it's just how it is whatever it is and uh, this video is just for fun so it just kind of did whatever and did one i just wanted to do a review on it um but if you have any questions just leave a comment down below and uh see you in the next video so uh, i also wanted to
put this part into the video. So you go right here into your window settings and then go to system and then go to sound and then go to sound control panel. But right here, there's only two things you really need to change. So as you go right here, go down and scroll down on recordings and find your Yeti Nano. You right click, go to properties and then go to levels. And then so there are only two things you can change, but you can also change this. This is the input gain on in the uh, mark the software. So if I were to change this, it would also change the one in the software. So if I go here, so if I were to change this right here, it would change along with it. So honestly, you don't really need to go here that far to go to change the input. So the second one, this is the most important one, which is to change this. So this one, you would want to have this on the highest Hertz. I'm assuming that's, that's what it is. <laughs> so you want, you would want to have this on the highest one. So for me, it's like 48,000. Um, and then when you, when you click onto it, you want to press apply and then press okay. And then just X that out. 